Hi everyone, this is going to be a tutorial of how to achieve loose, natural looking beachy waves without any heat and in, well, less than 10 minutes really. Um, I've been bleaching my hair really blonde for about 10 years. I used to use uh, my straighteners every day. I actually dyed my hair and cut it myself, so it was in really horrendous condition. And uh, yeah, about a year ago, I started researching ways of how to get my hair really healthy, nice and soft again. So um, the first thing I did was dye it darker, and I have gradually brought it back and back to, I mean, this is darker than my actual colour now, um, but that's by the by. I also discovered that using heat on my hair was far more damaging than I originally realised, and so I stopped heat treating it, but as a result my hair looked awful all the time, so I was looking out for a way of styling my hair without using heat, and initially I was using Velcro rollers and I would um, put them up in rollers and then spritz it with water or like salt water concoction and wait for it to dry and that took forever. And then I remembered reading a book when I was little called My Naughty Little Sister and there was a story about um, this naughty little sister who really wanted to have curly hair so her mum um, set her hair in rag rolls and for some reason this story really stuck in my head and uh, it's a Victorian book so this is a Victorian style of uh, styling your hair, because obviously they didn't have GHDs in those days. Um, so I looked on the internet and all of the results that I could see were really kind of tight ringlet things and it was recommending that you wash your hair, leave it wet, um, wrap it up in lots and lots of rags and sleep on them. And the results, the photo results, all seemed to be really like crunchy looking ringlets and that really wasn't the effect I was looking for. So I had a bit of an experiment and I actually cut up a pair of old linen trousers and just kind of experimented. I really apologise for the lighting. Ugh, I can't believe how sunny it is today. And eventually I came up with a way of rolling my hair up in these rags and I would wrap my hair around these two fingers so that I would get quite a thick, um, big curl and tie them together and then just leave them overnight and I'd sleep on them. And what I ended up getting was this kind of really kind of glamorous, loose waves kind of thing. And I think it does take a lot of practice to be able to do this, um, especially being able to tie the rags um, with one hand or, you know, uh, it's kind of tricky. And also, uh, there's two different ways that I do this. Sometimes I start at the top and work down, which allows me to control the way that my curls look from the top or I will partition my hair and start from the bottom and kind of partition upwards, but sometimes I'll take too much from the bottom and end up having like tighter curls at the top and it doesn't look exactly how I want it. So I tend to kind of put up with the harder way of doing it, of doing it from the top. But um, the really good thing about this is that it takes such a short amount of time. I usually spend about five minutes doing it in the evening and then in the morning it takes me like less than five minutes to undo it and then a couple of seconds of zhuzhing it up and then I can just go. There's One of the downsides of this method is that it is deeply unattractive. Rob has seen me with these uh, crazy alien hairstyles many times. Um, yeah, it's not attractive. It's not a date night uh, situation. Really? I think I've rambled long enough, so I'm going to take you back to last night when I put these in. All you'll need is some material or rags and a pair of scissors. I originally just cut up some old trousers, but what you use is up to you. I would ask permission of your parents before cutting up your old clothes. I cut the material into strips about 2 inches thick and 15 inches long. I find that thicker rags achieve a bigger curl. The longer your strips are, the easier they'll be to tie. I think mine might be a little bit too short. I usually use about 12 to 15 rags for all of my hair. The amount of rags that you use will depend on how thick your hair is and how loose you want your curls to be. So obviously I'm not just about to go to bed. I've got a full face of makeup on, but I've put pyjamas on just for the effect. Um, so what I'll usually do is start uh, from the top of my head and work in sections downwards. Um, this is because then I can get a real um, sense of where my parting is going to be and it's just easier to work with that way. So I'll take my first section here from the front and sorry if you can see me looking in the viewfinder, I'm just trying to gauge how much hair I've got. And so that I can get a really um, 
kind of natural wavy curl going on. I'll take quite large sections. I'll hold the piece of material between my two fingers, my forefinger and my middle finger and hold that so that I've got um, a large amount of material hanging down on the edges. I'll put my fingers and the material behind my hair and start rolling backwards like this. I'll make sure that I don't trap a small amount of hair in the bottom because I find that that leaves a kink and it makes it not look quite natural. Once I've done that, I'll hold my hair secure and I'll take the two ends from here and I will tie them into a knot like so with just one hand with my couple of fingers to help. And what I'm left with is kind of a loop here. I don't know if you can see that. I've got this kind of loop of hair here and I can resize that loop to however big I want it to be. Like so. And then I'll start moving down towards the middle sections. And for this section here, I'll just take one large piece so that it's not too um, tight and curly. The direction that you um, wind the hair will be the direction that your curl will go in, in the, uh, once you've taken it out. So next I'll get my next piece, again I'll hold it just in the middle like this and try and get the two ends to be evenly spaced. I'll put my fingers behind my hair, roll backwards a couple of twists, hold the two bits here and tie them down and as you can see I've got this kind of ring of hair again and you can resize that according to how big you want your curls to be. If you imagine um, a curling iron, the bigger the barrel, the longer and bigger your curls will be. You can kind of pull your hair out of this little roll here so that you get different sized curls. like when it's all done as you can see I look like a crazy person and my boyfriend is not too keen on this look um, before I go to bed but um, it's really comfortable to sleep on these are as I said these are rags so um, they're really soft and um, to be honest it's only four o'clock so I'm not going to keep these in for the remainder but I will put these in in the exact same order I'll use the exact same amount of rags just before I go to bed and I'm gonna continue filming in the morning so I'll kind of do the reveal like undoing them and show you what they look like in the end. Good morning, I have just gotten up. I have put a bit of makeup on because I don't think it would be fair to subject you to that. I'm having kind of a bad skin time at the moment but that's by the by. You may notice that my furry companion has not yet woken up. Uh, but yes, I've slept on this all night. As I said, it was um, reasonably comfortable to sleep on and I'm going to take it all out now and hopefully um, it will have the desired effect of having those beachy loose waves. Also, I apologise if the lighting's a bit off. Um, it's like quite early in the morning and the sun's around this side of the house at the moment. So um, I'm getting a bit of white out at the moment. So there you go. I've got my first one out and as you can see, that's got quite a loose wave to it. taken all of those out I'll usually kind of play with it with my fingers run my fingers through it to loosen the curls up a little bit 
Um, what I've always found with rag rolling is that I get a certain amount of um, threads coming out of my hair after, so you do have to be quite careful. I think a way around that would be to use those edging scissors and they're like the zigzag ones or, I mean, I don't have enough time to go around edging my rags on the sewing machine, but I suppose you could do that if you wished. Um, because I don't do this with my hair wet, my hair will have a tendency to fall out of this, so I do use a spray. I'm using um, Fudge Urban Texture Blaster to keep this in shape and just to give it a bit more of a... So there you have um, really loose beachy waves. If you wanted to have a more tight curl or more of the curls, then obviously you could use um, smaller sections and uh, more of the rags. If you wanted um, a more defined look, then you could put um, these in when your hair is wet. But as I said, the look I'm really going for is kind of a beachy, relaxed, loose wave. This is kind of the only way I've managed to find a really easy way of styling my hair um, without any heat and um, yeah, I love it. I'm so glad I discovered this way of doing things. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please ask me down below. I did do a blog post on this quite a while ago, um, but I feel like it wasn't as informative as uh, a video style of uh, tutorial. So uh, I'll leave the link for that below, but I mean, I don't know how helpful it will be in comparison to this video. So that's it. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I hope you could put up with the strange lighting situation that went on. Uh, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.